Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how I modeling this paper cup. Okay, let's start it. First, open up your blender, delete everything, go to the front view, press CK, add image reference, move your image reference over here, turn down the opacity, 5.5. It back over here. Let's see a mess. Add a circle. GZ. Move your circle over here. Tap to the edit mode. Scale it down just a little bit. Press EZ. Extrude it down here. Alt Z to see the X-ray view. Scale it down. Like this. Okay. And press E to extrude, S to scale, just like this. Click over here. Control V to bevel it just a little bit, like this. And select this edge. Press E to extrude, S to scale it, just a little bit, like this. Press GZ, move it up here and press E, C, extrude it down, S to scale it, just like this, go to the front view, move it here, just inside this little bit, press E again, S to scale it, press F to fill, Smooth. Add a subdivision modifier. Let's see a add a curve circle. GZ move your circle over here. Yep. And circle data property. Geometry over here. Deep. Increase the deep like this. Just like that. Bit here, I guess. And scale it down a little bit. Just like this. And add this one. Add a solidify modifier. Move your solidify up here. Tap to edit mode. Press Ctrl R. Add a loop up here. Yep. Press the thickness inside just a little bit and move this up again, just like this. Okay, we are done with the bottom part. Let's do the top part. We don't need this image reference, just delete it. Go to the top view, press C A, image reference, select this image reference, move it up here. Turn down the opacity, 0.5, adjust the scale, like this I guess, select all of this, hide this first, and move this way down, like this, press shift A, mess at a circle, tap to the edit mode, press E to extrude, S to scale it, scale it inside like this, Press E again, Z, extrude it on the Z axis, S to scale it down like this, and press E again, extrude Z axis, move it up here, scale it down like this, okay, and okay, extrude it again, S. Extrude it inside like this. Press E, extrude it down here on the Z axis. Press S to scale it down inside like this. And press E again, Z, extrude it on the Z axis way up here. Like this, I guess, with the front view. Yep, scale it down like this. And on this edge, select this edge. Press E, Z. Extrude it down here. Move 
it down a little bit. Yep. Go to the top view. Press E, S. Scale it down. Over here. Press E again, Z. Extrude it on the Z axis. Scale it just a little bit. Go to the edge mode by pressing 2 on your keyboard. Select this edge. Hold control. Select this edge. Go to the top view. Select this edge. Press F to fill. Press Alt E. Extrude press along normal. Extrude it up here. Go to the right view. Press R to rotate it just like this. Okay. Next we need to fill over here. Just click here. Just hold Alt and click this edge. So it will select all of this edge. Press F to fill. Select this face. Press I to insert like this. Alt E, extrude face along normal. Extrude it outside like this, just a little bit. Okay. Shade smooth. Add a subdivision modifier by pressing Ctrl 2 on your keyboard. Add a bevel modifier. Move it up here. Change the segment 3 segment. Angle change it to the weight. Tap to the edit mode. Press N, change this to 1, and select this edge, 1, this edge, change it to 1, and over here, I'll see to see the x-ray view, over here, here, this edge, 1, let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks okay to me. Over here, change it to 1. And here, change it to 1. Okay, next. Select this face. Press I to insert. Insert like this. And select this vertex. Press S, Y. 0 do the same over here s y 0 now select this face delete the face okay that's it and bring back the cup move this way up like this maybe you need to scale up a little bit just like this okay we are done with the modeling now let's go to the texture. Go to render engine, change it to cycle, color management, change this to filmic and high contrast. We need another window over here. Go to the viewport shading. Expand at the bottom here. Change it to shader editor. Just click this. Just click over here. New material. Just make it black. Turn down the roughness like this before we doing texture over here I guess we need to fix something over here just click here tap to the edit mode and go to the face mode select all of this face this face control this face press S to scale without the Z axis by pressing S and shift Z to scale it without the Z axis just scale it like this yep okay it looks good to me now we need to read the label to tap to the edit mode, press Ctrl R, add a loop back here and Ctrl R again over here I guess. Go to the face mode, select all of this face, press Shift D to duplicate it, press P selection to separate them, and select the circle, scale this up a little bit, just like this. Okay, it's perfect. Now Let's do the material over here. New material and we need a foramide texture and press Ctrl T. If you can do that, just go to the edit, preference, just type not wrangle here. 
install the note wrangle, set to preference, and after this, click here, just control shift, click your Fortnite texture, so we can see what we are doing here, increase the scale like this, yeah like this I guess, let's see A mesh we need a color ramp, select all of this, a shift A, add a bump, bump node over here, connect the bump to the normal, and change the normal to high, click over here, let's see, we have a texture over here, but it's too raw, just turn down the string, like this, yep. and here. I guess we have a paper loop material here. And for this one, tap to the edit mode, go to the back view, select this edge, press U, mark sim, A on wrap, and new material over here. Press Ctrl T, add image texture, open your image texture, find your level, need to expand over here, just like this, change this to a UV editor, select all of this, and let's fix this, just go to edge mode by pressing 2 over here, select this edge, Press SX0, do the same over here, XX0, and over here, SY0, here, SY0, and go to the face mode by pressing 3 on your keyboard, click this face, press A to select everything, right click, follow active quad. Now it's all being strained, just rotate it 90 degree, scale it. Adjust it, maybe S or Z, just like this. How it look? Let's add another loop up here and down here. Click here, increase the roughness, and this one we need to add the coronet texture as well. A search for an eye texture, just control T and add a color ramp over here and move this over here. Shift A, add a bump, connect normal to normal, color to high and color to factor, just to scale. like this and we need to turn down the strength okay and at this top maybe we need to move it down it's like this okay I guess we are done here thank you for watching